Yes. Finally, 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 the May update for my Samsung S21 Plus Galaxy S21 Plus, guys. And why do I say finally, finally? And why am I really cheering here very joyful? Because, see here, guys, the performance of the camera has been improved. And this kind of means a lot, by the way. What do you think? Enhanced quick share. Okay, improved file sharing between Galaxy devices and quick share as well. The security of your device have been improved. Okay, by the way, something very, very important, guys, and a disclaimer. After updating, you'll not be able to downgrade to the old software because of updates to the security policy, which means that they are also patching the bootloader. So if you are installing this famous May update, then this is it. You are really done with previous updates. And we all know that the software update can include, but it's not also limited to device deleted improvements, bug fixes, news, and or hand features, further improvements of performance, and okay, you know the talk. But guys, why, why did I freak out this morning when I saw that I finally, 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 finally got this so-called now May update? Let me show you something. This is the version with security patch level from the 1st of May, and it is already the 13th of May. Okay, let me show you another thing. This is the same form, but used in Germany, because we know that the CSC DVD stands for Germany, okay? So, they had the AOC 8 released almost end of March, then they had the AUD 8, it was released on the 25th of April, which I never got, and then they had six days or seven days ago, they had the AUE 1, okay? So this is the so-called May update. And we also know that uh, phones in Germany are really updated often, so if you want guys to get all those updates, you might want to reconsider changing your firmware with one like this one here, DBT. I have a video about this, so you can check it here. Pretty much straightforward, you just need to use Odin. Of course, there is always risk involved, but hey, if you wanna use native call recording, then you might also use Thailand CC and etc. But you understand my frustration, because I had to wait long to get this famous May update. But I think you can understand my frustration and at the same time my joy when I finally got the hands on this update. It is 1000 megabytes, right? So it's one gigabyte. So I'm gonna press the download button right now. I taken some pictures. At the end, I'm gonna put a comparison with some of the pictures shot right now on the AUC8 version and hopefully then also on the latest AUE1 version. Honestly, I don't really think that the changes are gonna be that obvious because the camera here in the S21 Plus is really one of the greatest camera in a phone. And I know it might sound a bit bombastic, but this phone really has a great camera and nobody can take this away. So how can you make a great camera better, right? That's a tricky question. And I do cross the fingers and I hope that Samsung knows the answer. So let be right back here when this ROM is installed. We're gonna see if there are some new changes. We're gonna see how the ROM behaves. I see that a lot of people online are saying that this famous May update is bringing a lot of enhancements. The phone became a bit more fluid. All the gestures improved. So it is really a big update. And again, I think probably it's like the 10 or 11 update after the release of the S21. So Samsung really doing a good job. Now, I was not so happy that I had to wait like eight days and all the guys in Germany got it, but still it is almost not the middle of the month and we get the latest update. So again, great job from Samsung, keeping up their devices up to date. All right, let's go back when this is installed. Let's do some pre-checks before the ROM is installed. Right now, the home screen version is 12.105.11. Also, what we can see, we can go here into the settings and then we can go to the biometrics and security and we can also check the versions here. So the security update is from the 1st of April, the Google Play update from the 1st of April. If we go to more biometric settings, we can see the biometric security patch. Let's see if there are any updates. I think there will be, but I just wanna see what version I'm running right now. The fingerprint is five, 010 and the face is 20013. All right, and now without any further ado, guys, I'm gonna hit the install now button. Freaky little Android robot, don't freak out when you see this. This means that your system is updating. Now, I'm 100% sure that this is not seen every time you do update version, and that's understood, I told you. Here, the updates are more, they are also upping up the version of the bootloader, and hence the warning that you're not able to go back, guys. So if you flash this ROM, then have in mind that it's not gonna be very easy to go back. Actually, it's gonna be probably impossible.
And we're at this funny moment when your phone is going to display the message that it is updating. Now, after several restarts, you're thinking, what the hell is happening here? My phone is still updating, optimizing applications, okay? That's an important process. If you're doing this for the first time, don't freak out, everything is really back to normal. And I'm gonna show you also some tips and tricks how to optimize your phone post the update. So let's speed this up. And when you hear this sound, you know that you're lucky, everything went up to the plan and your phone is updated. Opening my phone for the first time after the update, notice something important, guys. Still, Android system is gonna display a message, finishing system update. And I always use this to just go here and check if I really have the latest software. So I just scroll down, I go to software update, I go to download and install, and then my expectation is to see here, hey, your software is up to date. And I can indeed see that we're running the AU E1. Experience slowdown after software updates. And this here is Galaxy Labs. And guys, if you are watching my channel for the first time, that might be a good point for you to subscribe to it. Now, Galaxy Labs, I show this in some of my other videos, please check it here, why it's important. Every time you do update your phone, it is good that you go and you run the Galaxy App Booster. After all the updates that you do to the phone, optimizing the application is not a bad idea. And you can just see this really goes through all of your applications and try to optimize them. So I'm gonna speed this up and we're gonna go back and check the new things. This can be a very boring process. In fact, I'm doing this already since probably more than 20 minutes. Guys, it's up to you. If you wanna do it the proper way, Probably Galaxy App Booster is a good thing to be done, but if you don't have such time, then yeah, just think of it, it might take a bit more time. Now I have more than 600 applications because I have two kids at home, two boys, so you know, kids play games, and I'm not so good with parenting control about phones, right? So they get to use my phone, they know my codes and etc. But it is what it is, it does take a lot of time. So I'm gonna speed it up again and we're gonna meet back. Ninety-seven percent, and we have already more than half an hour of me doing this. And I can tell you, I've been watching this pulsating circle for so much time right now. I think I almost got hypnotized. So if you don't want to get hypnotized, guys, maybe don't do this. But hey, we're almost there. Galaxy Up Booster, Samsung S twenty-one, One UI three one, the final latest May security update. Your apps have been optimized. I have closed everything to cool it down. And let's check now the home screen. So I'm gonna to go to settings. Oh, 12.1.0707. So indeed, there is a new thing. So let's see what we have here. Home and up screen, okay. We have home screen grid, four by six, five by six. Wow, okay, that's nice, cancel. We have the up screen grid, right? Okay, then we have the folder grid, three by four, four by four. Show apps screen button on home screen, lock home screen layout. Add new apps to home screen, we have also had application, swipe down for the notification panel, and that's pretty much it. So no big changes here, but a new version, okay? Let's now go into the settings and check also the biometrics and security. So gonna go to more biometrics and security, and I wanna check the patch. All right, 5.01.20.115. I think they're up as well, right? Let's try to see how the phone behaves. I'm gonna open Galaxy Store, I'm gonna open PlayStation, I'm gonna open Chrome here, I'm gonna open the device care, I'm gonna open the clock, I'm gonna open health, and I'm gonna open also my chat, and yeah, what can I say? Yeah, seemed no stutter to me, guys. You see? Yeah, very, very fluid, by the way. Yeah. Nice job. And I'm gonna be checking also now the camera. If I go into the camera, and we're gonna be hitting here the settings. I just wanna see the version. Okay, the version of the camera is 1100296. Okay, are there some new things here? Let's check here more. Okay, pro video, air rule, directors view, all of this was there before. Let's check also the gallery. I'm in my gallery. I just wanna check the version settings here. We have the version 12.1. 067. Something I was not able to get before to edit a picture and to try to remaster. Ah, finally, finally, now I have the remaster pictures. And this is really, really very, very good because you know that Samsung rollout 
the remaster picture now for any random photo of yourself. So let's say if I open this one here and I click the remaster button, then the AI will analyze the picture and it should provide some enhancements. See here, before, right? And see after, and this is really insane, right? Upping up the resolution, so let me just try, let me just try to download the remastered pictures, okay? Now I have, this is the picture before, okay? And this now the remastered pictures, and yeah, I'm not sure what sorcery happens here, but it does look quite, quite good. Let's do another one here, right? This is the old picture, which is actually quite bad, low size from the internet. I'm gonna click remaster, it's gonna analyze, and it's gonna offer to me some options to enhance the text. So see, before and after, definitely better. Now guys, I'm gonna do some pics, and I'm gonna compare the pics from this update with the pictures I took before updating my phone. And I really do hope that you enjoy videos like this. With that said, guys, yeah, just stay safe, you and your families, and we're gonna be back in one of my next videos. Bye, VST over.